Welcome back, everyone, to the anime news for the week ending July 27th, 2018. Here is what's coming up in the, or what happened in the news this week. Starting with, I always like starting with a new anime announcement. Well, guess what? We do have one. Kyoto Animation has announced they will be adapting the light novel series 20th Century Electricity Catalog. That is a title that they're still, um, they haven't officially translated yet, so we're not sure if that's going to be the final title. The Japanese is Twenty Seiki Denki Mokuroku. The story is about a 15-year-old girl living in 1907 in Japan who is the um, kind of girl when nothing ever goes right for her, and but she is being um, sort of pressured by her father into an arranged marriage. And she meets a boy who insists that she should abandon the old world of the gods in favor of the incoming age of electricity, and then things get weird. They go after this thing called Electricity Catalog, which is a prediction book about electricity. Um, looks lovely. Looks like a, a, a nice, definitely uh, you know, pretty, which Kyoto Animation definitely knows how to do pretty. Anime series, historical, which is a thing we're seeing more of these days, more anime around uh, historical times and periods and so forth. So hopefully it'll be fairly informative. Um, also, some good news for fans of Bungo Stray Dogs. They announced a third season of that anime series, uh, according to their official Twitter account. Um, this was uh, originally, the announcement was made um, at a screening of the film Bungo Stray Dogs Dead Apple. And uh, this is an adaptation of a manga about literary figures with supernatural powers. So, more is coming. Originally aired in 2016. Um, and so we're getting a bit more, which is a bit of a surprise to see a, a show from a couple of years ago getting a new lease on life, but uh, not a bad thing at all. Also a bit surprising, Any Uta is coming over to our shores. This is an anime song streaming service. It's been out in Japan for some time. It came out in March 2017, so a little over a year ago in Japan where you can stream anime theme songs. They actually have the uh, uh, soundtrack for Ghost in the Shell right in there, which is a good uh, in the screenshot, which is a good, good start. Also, One Punch Man. Uh, they say it will, see here, it'll have 10,000 songs available for streaming. It'll launch August 1st for both iOS and Android, again, in the United States. And it'll cost about five bucks a month um, with some possible changes in the pricing over time. Typical stuff. Um, and uh, basically, you can either, you don't have to subscribe, um, but if you don't subscribe, you only get 30 seconds worth of each song. Uh, and you can still search songs and store up to 20 in your library, whatever that does for you, I don't know. Um, but if you subscribe for, again, about five bucks a month, you'll be able to stream at full 320k per second and store up to a thousand songs in your library. So, sounds like a fun service for those of us who love anime theme songs. No word, I, I'm assuming this is going to be only the Japanese version, so none of the English versions of, of anime theme songs will be in there, um, presumably. So, moving on to some sort of industry news. Production IG has announced they started accepting some um, uh, applications for their um, Production IG Indies Anime Award program. This is where basically you can submit an idea, you can submit an animation, I believe, um, and then uh, Production IG will put it on its, on its app, Anime Beans, and let people see it and vote on it, and hopefully it will get more people interested. And then Production IG, then a, see, a, a grand prize winner will receive a million yen in prize money. It's about $10,000. Um, five Excellence Award winners will receive 500,000 yen, about half that. And 10 Effort Award winners will each receive 100,000 yen, so about 1,000 bucks each. Uh, and they'll all win a software bundle with a bunch of, of stuff. And it will be a Wacom Award winner who gets a Wacom tablet. Uh, they'll also get a studio tour and an invite to a roundtable discussion with Mitsuhisa, Mitsuhisa Ishikawa and Takeuki Goto, the president and director of Production IG. So uh, that's pretty cool that they are looking for new talent 
that they will hopefully bring in, open to amateurs as well as professionals. So there will be a, an indie section on their app where folks can, can post that stuff. So if you're interested, hey, and you can get past the, uh, the language barrier, might be something worth looking into. Who knows? Uh, moving on to some movie news, Mamoru Hosoda's new film Mirai, or Mirai no Mirai, premiered in U.S. theaters, um, I believe this was last weekend, um, or could have been the, let's see here, what, what was this? This was, uh, yeah, last weekend, and it premiered at number two, which is pretty darn good for an anime movie, making about four and a half million dollars U.S. equivalent, which is again quite good. Uh, number one was Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, FYI. Um, it earned about three and a half million of that on Saturday and Sunday. So um, weekend earnings were 40% less than Boy and the Beast. So a little un unfortunate, uh, but certainly doing quite well, again, by anime standards. It had premiered um, at Cannes earlier this year. So you probably heard about Mirai or Mirai no Mirai showing up, but uh, that was just a uh, special thing at Cannes. Um, and it did quite well. It will be released by G-Kids in, in the United States, uh, who they've actually released a trailer for it with English subtitles. So if you're looking for uh, that, look for Mirai trailer on YouTube, and I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Uh, let's see here. So those are the, the, the main things about that. Uh, there's some other anime-related uh, uh, films in theaters, but nothing too significant at this point. Um, however, it was significant that there's a new trailer for the new Evangelion film, which kind of uh, went off the, uh, uh, off the map. People hadn't heard about it for a while. But they screened a trailer before uh, showings of Mirai. And it's a trailer of, it's the end credits, I'm sorry, it's the next episode of music from Evangelion, the original Evangelion TV series, but with lyrics this time, weirdly. And it's this one clip of Mari Illustrious uh, in her Eva firing these guns and just sort of spinning around her Eva firing guns for the entire trailer, which I think it's like maybe 30 seconds long. It's, it's quite brief, but it is um, out there. It is available on uh, and on YouTube, not too surprisingly. Um, looks cool, but doesn't tell us anything about it, obviously, other than I guess Mari is back in some way, shape or form. No complaints. Uh, moving on to um, another a bit of a surprise announcement, but uh, one that I don't think is, is too shocking, but uh, uh, we were kind of wondering when and if and when this would happen, Boruto is coming to Toonami. That's right, everyone's favorite ninja's kid is now going to uh, uh, infect America, and kids will be watching Boruto, and, and I'm sure it'll be a, a new boom in love of the ninja show. You can't discount the success of television for a way of bringing people in. Um, so that is coming September 29th, as you can see from the image over there. Uh, the, the new Boruto will uh, start airing, starting from episode one of Boruto going on through. Uh, finally, a bit of an odd news item. The uh, new Haikyuu film, which is a basketball series. Uh, I'm sorry, volleyball series. I always get that wrong. Uh... The Battle of Concepts film has been listed with a United States release. Uh, September, September, 19th, ah, September 19th, apparently, we'll be getting the Haikyuu film here in U.S. theaters. I suspect it will be a limited release. Um, apparently, it'll be part of the Crunchyroll Movie Night program. Um, they do this whole screenings program for uh, certain films. So that's pretty cool. It basically covers various events from uh, season two and three of Haikyuu, plus some new scenes scattered throughout. Uh, it only opened in September, um, let's see here, it opened, oh no, this was, it opened um, last September 29th, uh, I believe. So um, it's been out there for a, a, a while, apparently. Um, but that's pretty cool that uh, you'll be able to watch the Haikyuu film in the US, if you like it. All right, that's all the news fit to print for this week. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you uh, next week with more news. I will be out of town uh, in a hotel room next week, but I will still try to get you all of the, the news items, and we may have reduced video quality, reduced audio quality, but I will do my best to be here for you next week for that. So hope to see you then. Have a great week.